today's 100 days of hardcore Minecraft, I will be attempting to survive in an upside down world. The entire world is upside down. My gravity is flipped. This means that if I'm gonna spend any time in the overworld, I'm gonna have to bridge everywhere. And with one wrong step, it's all over. This video took a ridiculous amount of time and it was a lot of effort to do. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys smash that like button for me to let me know that you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit subscribe, join the Paul GG army if you guys wanna see some more spicy videos like this and let's get into 100 days. All right, and I already have a headache. I, I did, my brain can't comprehend what's happening. Mr. Mr. Cow, I help. Yeah, I gotta start off with getting the essentials, obviously. Does things still fall upwards? Well, down? Okay, yeah, it's up down for me. One thing I am gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to leave uh, at least one piece of wood in all of these trees so that I'm able to obviously run on top of the treetops and not have to worry about the leaves decaying. All right, now very carefully, I need to throw together a bunch of tools. Oh my gosh, dude, this crafting table. <laughs> it looks so cursed. Okay. And preferably before I do anything, I need to get some food somehow. Obviously, another route of being able to get food is being able to get some seeds and then I can be able to turn that into a farm later. Oh my gosh, dude, I placed a bottom slab and that scared me. Okay, I finally got a seed. All I need to do is very, very carefully just bridge my way over like so. And then I should be able to God, just grab it very carefully like that. There we go. Okay. Now I figured the best bet uh, for me being able to survive in this world is definitely going to be to probably start out in caves, right? Because if I'm in a cave, then I can easily not fall into the giant void sky that it is. Now, hopefully I could just be able to find a nice giant 1.18 cave and live out of it. Honestly, that'd be perfect. Is that what's going to happen? Yeah, yeah, probably not. Uh Oh, here we go. First cave, baby. This is what I'm talking about. Is it livable? It's not, but we'll we'll deal with it for now. <laughs> but we do got some upgrade. Oh my God. Not like this. This is my first fight in this upside down world. He's upside down. Or am I upside down, actually? And now that we got plenty of iron, I can be able to whip up some goodies. And now I'm pretty much just going to keep mining until I find a pretty solid cave to live out of. Or rather, big enough to be able to build a house in. <laughs> oh, now this is a very cursed looking site. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at this. Gravel falls up. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, and apparently it's already day two time really flies when you're in the upside down <laughs> oh here we go we got a cave and spider zombie Ooh, mine shaft there it is that's good I gotta be careful spiders can definitely get to me zombies however are a little bit dumber i don't think he's gonna be able to really get to me and he did drop off a snack at least but this is looking really good because now i can be able to Ooh, we got a portal also we're gonna be able to get a lot of resources out of this i really want to explore the mine shaft more than anything oh wait i just realized this portal this is the bottom half of what a, a ruined portal looks like the portal's actually in here and we got a chest with a sword flint and steel and an axe all right sick it's kind of garbage um it'd be kind of cool if i finished this portal though and i actually use this as my portal because it's upside down <laughs> get it <laughs> oh my gosh i can't water bucket oh my god so let's very carefully make our way up to this mine shaft where i can hopefully get a little bit of food and not fight a creeper oh my gosh dude that's terrifying because if he's able to get to me all i really need to do is find a chest there we go yes we got food oh we're chilling we're chin chilling now so now one thing's for sure is that i at least got some regen i'm definitely gonna try to oh yo this looks sick the way this like pokes out into the cave and it's got like chains and stuff like that from my perspective it's holding it up but <laughs> one thing i am gonna need is a lot of bones as well in this world because i'm gonna have to grow a a lot of stuff <laughs> one thing i will say is i've always taken for granted how smooth the ground is versus how lumpy the roof is trying to run around in this i'm constantly jumping okay i've definitely decided that i am 100 going to be living out of this cave i just need to try to figure out exactly where and how i'm going to do that while also actually i need to get food <laughs> the more i think about it the more i'm very likely to starve in this world and this mine shaft is only going to be a temporary fix to being able to actually get some food but i've only found the one chest oh my gosh i just saw a chest literally just sitting all the way up there and i just realized because of this water i can use water to go up places oh my gosh so now i can be able to go get this chest 
and get a little bit more bread and a name tag. Nice, I'll take it, why not? Okay, I'm gonna have to solve this food issue. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a staircase all the way to the surface where I can hopefully be able to bring animals down to the cave or up to the cave. I'm hearing horses, not quite the not quite the food that I'm looking for, but all right, definitely. Oh, I'm in like, I'm kind of in like a ravine, I think, because it looks like I could see cave over there. Oh no, this isn't good. Oh, I hear a cow though. And the creepers right there, great. Okay, I literally hear a cow and he's like, oh, come this way. Come here. I don't have any wheat. Hold on, let me try something like this real quick. Nani? Nope. Oh, oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh, that could have ruined everything. Oh man. If it would have blown up the dirt that I was standing on, I would have fell into the sky. That, that was almost it. That was literally almost it. I'm gonna place that down, okay? Now let me till the field right there. And then now I can place down a seed, use the bones that I have, and then now I have wheat. Now hopefully I can be able to call over a cow. Oh, there's literally a cow right here. Bro, bro, what the heck? It must have fallen in the hole. Hey, come here. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, this might work. Oh my gosh, this might actually work. It's running on the roof. It looks very scary and cursed, but I'll take it. Oh, I just realized a big problem though. Hold on. You stay there. Okay. Don't go anywhere. I need to uh, create like kind of a roof that it'll be able to live on for the time being until I make like an actual farm. Okay, Mr. Cow, come back. Okay, and then now he should land right there. Stop. Don't, don't fall. Don't fall now. There we go. Okay. All right, now let me go get another one. Okay, I'll take a sheep any day of the week because now I could be able to make some shears and make a bed. Oh my gosh, there's a spider in my, in my, oh my God. I can't get a break. This stupid spider pushed the cow and now the cow is on the roof. I, sheep, come here. I need you more than ever. There we go. And then, yep, in here, perfect. I'm gonna add some fences, put around this just in case. And then now we have roof cow and we must respect the roof cow. He, he wants to be up there. That's on him. Okay, now I'm gonna try to bring up some more animals preferably sheep at this point because then I can be able to have more sheepers I can literally see another sheep please thank you oh my god <laughs> and even though they don't have any grass on above them or b above me below them I should still be able to get plenty of wool out of them by just breeding sheep right I'm gonna clear out a bit of an area so that I can be able to build out a small farm and place some water in there and I'm gonna till the fields and plant some seeds which I can't oh because light levels I'm stupid there we go now I can plant some seeds luckily I I still do have some bone meal then I can replant even more and then just expand on this farm a little bit more real quick after I get some more bones that is and so now I can be able to give some haircuts just like so but also being able to breed the sheep and then now get more sheep and that sheep will have its own wool and now I don't got to worry about bringing grass down here just yet until I get like silk touch or something like that now, most importantly, I can... Oh, I got three. Yes, I can be able to actually make a bed. There we go. Oh, the bed is cursed. Oh, great. And I can't sleep in it like this because it's obstructed, which means I'm going to have to sleep on the roof like a vampire now. Let me just do that. Okay, and there we go. Easy sleepies, baby. Hopefully I don't... Oh, ow. I suffocated in the roof. <laughs> Now, next thing that I do want to do is attempt to find a bunch of skeletons because then I could get a lot of bone meal that way. Or I could even go to the nether. That could be species spicy. My problem is that I can't fight in a big room. I got to be in like narrow cavey hallways. And then maybe also I could be able to go and get some diamonds or something too. Okay, guys, relax. Just want to fight the skeleton. Oh my gosh, is this just a giant cave up here? Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. Look at the lava above me. This diamonds, hold up, we got some diamonds. And it's one, it's one, one succulent diamond. Okay, Sheesh, slow down, Paul, you're you're moving on too quick, bro. Oh my gosh, this upside down world's treating you so well. <laughs> okay, enough diamonds, uh, I need skellies. Except I, I do see some diamonds up there and it's uh, looking pretty tasty. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, uh, here we go. I got a skelly. All I need to do is get some bones. It's a skelly spawner, baby. That's perfect. Literally perfect. And we also got a music disc, some gunpowder, some beetroot. I'm just gonna put that back. No one want beetroot. At least now I get uh, all the bones I'm ever gonna need. <laughs> Now I finally got all this bone meal. Now I can be able to get tons of food and not have to stress about food anymore because food is so stressful. <laughs> and now that I'm a decent bit stocked up on food, what I want to try, relax. Relax, there you guys, calm down. What I want to try to do is get a bunch of dirt as much as I can 
Okay, well, that just broke. Okay. But I want to stock up on dirt so that maybe I could be able to get grass to grow all the way to the sheep farm. I know I said that I could just breed them, and honestly, as chaotic as that sounds, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Rather than just be able to get the wool back from uh, having grass. Because technically, oh my gosh, dude, you're holding my sheep hostage? It's cool, but can you not? Because technically, if I put a bunch of grass in here, and then if I build a grass staircase basically all the way to the surface, wait, no, it's on this side, or is it? No, this is right. Okay, yeah, no, I'm right. Relax, guys, calm down. Get back in there. Get back in there or else. How about that? So, for example, if I attach this to that and then go all the way up from here, then we should be chilling, and I'll be able to have grass grow up to the sheep pen. I just got to mine out enough room for it. And then now that I got all the dirt set up, I'm pretty sure all I really really need to do is add some torches because the only thing preventing grass from spreading is light so if i add torches all the way up this thing we should be chilling i just realized while throwing that granite up there that there's actually diamonds above my base and i want them oh my god it's a zombie oh my gosh that was terrifying i don't like being all the way up here and they're they're dancing around on my diamond that should be okay i should be able to hit them from here nice nice keeping it nice and smooth okay, and now i should be able to get my diamond yes give it to me is that it just the one? Oh wait nope there's more i figured i might as well just start using these diamonds right i do already have an iron pick so i'll probably save three diamonds for a pickaxe when mine breaks trying to be conservative here and i'll make a shovel there we go now i got some bling bling the next thing that i want to do though is i want to try to build up that skeleton farm so i can be able to automate it in a way that i can be able to just farm the skeletons and not have to sit there and wait for them oh my god we have a chicken i need to figure out how i can get this chicken hold on i don't want it to despawn but at the same time i need to get some seeds <laughs> it's just derailed all of my plans now hopefully the chimkin hasn't despawned and it's gone yeah it's gone all right well that's what i figured would happen all right moving on <laughs> one thing is for sure is that this is going to be very confusing to build upside down <laughs> place water down it's gonna okay yeah flow that way okay all right now i've never uh, had to build a farm upside down before so <laughs> you could say i'm a professional at this already and i've mined out the whole space i'm pretty sure i could just place down water and it should flow okay up to there that's looking pretty good and then what i want to do is try to funnel them into one single hole that would be centered and now that i got this water all mined out now all I got to do is tower up and then basically dig a hole right here where all the skeletons are going to fall into. And then while at the same time, all I need to do is punch a hole right here because that's going to be where I'm going to be hitting them from. This is so hard to build upside down. I'll be completely honest. My brain hurts looking up. And then now I can just stand here and then whack all the skellies. The only issue is that I do need to build a chest hopper system real quick as well, which does mean I'm going to need more wood. And unfortunately, my little baby tree is just it's just not growing so it's back to the mine shaft for me and now with all this wood i can actually make some chest and make some hop i didn't mean to make two but hey whatever all i need to do is a ladder up and place down the chest like so so it's still open and i realized i forgot my hopper at home so i'm just gonna be depressed then after hooking up my hopper, we should be Gucci gang. Cause now I can just easily swing on them as they fall in. I'm just going to close this all off just in case. And then we'll give this thing a test. Let me break all these torches real quick. And then we run. I'll probably sit here and farm this thing for a little while because we're already running low on food because it takes forever to run all the way over here. And then now that we have all these bones, it should solve literally all of our food problems. Having that farm is going to be clutch. The only issue is I live so far away from it. And honestly, I'm kind of have something to move over there anyways, because that part of the cave, I think, is kind of nicer. The only problem is that we've kind of already settled down. We got ourselves a little farm. We got ourselves a little sheep farm over there. Speaking of which, we haven't checked on the grass. We got to see how the grass is doing. It's moved about two blocks. And yeah, we're, lo we're, we're looking okay. Um, <laughs> oh, I would love to roam, roam around again. I definitely want to start finding some treetops again. But for today, we're just going to live a simple life. I need to get a lot of food so I can stop worrying about it. Next thing I want to do is hopefully try to get this tree to start growing. So I'm thinking maybe it doesn't have enough room above it or I'm confused. But either way, I need to get some wood so I can finally start building an actual base. I mean, we're days into this world and I don't even have a base yet. <laughs> I'm just living in a cave. Uh, update. Um... <laughs> 
need a little bit of room, but it's uh, it's been ready to sprout for a little while, it seems. <laughs> the second I actually clear out some room and this thing just grows immediately. Okay, so that's good then. So I know for a fact I actually can grow trees underground then. Now, the only important thing now is that I actually get a sapling. Um, there we go. Now, I did get a sapling. Oh, I got three saplings. Actually, we're chilling now, bro. So I'll probably spend the next couple of days trying to get some wood so that I can be able to actually start building up a house. I'll probably end up maybe dismantling a little bit of that mine shaft too. I've decided that we're not gonna live here though. Uh, I wanna move somewhere else. And trust me, it'll be worth it. And right now that it's day 19, it's officially time to maybe start putting a little bit of effort into a, uh, an, a house. However, I already have a good idea of where I wanna build my house and where I wanna put my farms. And I'll be honest, this is the weirdest thing ever, fighting skeletons and stuff upside down because my arrows don't curve. They kind of shoot straight, actually. It's cool. It's kind of scary. Wait a second, I have an idea. I can block the arrow. Hold on, one more. Ah, come on now, come on. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, that's all. literally all I wanted to do. This looks like a pretty good area though. And there's also diamonds, which I want. <laughs> But I am kind of vibing with this area because this is shallow enough to where, uh, you know, when I walk out, I can be able to see a giant lava pool, which is just epic. Of course, after I get my diamond, that is. Oh, yeah, this looks like a really good area because then I can also actually have some farms over here. It's also closer to the skeleton farm. I need to figure out how I can bridge to it. And then also, I think, yeah, that looks like another mine shaft over there, too. So, yeah, this is looking like a quispy cave. Oh, more diamonds. Hello. Hey, uh, don't. Give me that. Oh, my gosh, dude. I hear. Oh, my gosh. Shallow caves are kind of scary, actually. There's a lot of mobs. Oh, more diamonds, though. Oh, and more diamonds. <laughs> I keep finding more and more diamonds. This time I'll take the water. Yeah, I shouldn't have done this. This is terrifying. Yeah, so at least I'll have another mine shaft nearby too. So that if I ever need to use a mine shaft for anything. Wow, that looks terrifying. I don't know how I keep missing these diamonds too. I keep running over them or something. Here, real quick, I'll get the area primed and ready by just kind of plugging up these giant holes. The last thing I want to do is fall into these. I'm also going to try to clear out a nice big flat area as well. And now that's looking pretty snazzy. Now it's a big enough area to where we can actually build up a house the only problem is going to be that i have to move stuff over here including the uh including the sheep honestly i probably have better bets just getting new sheep i'll be real <laughs> so here let me place down my chest which i forgot i gotta do that i'm gonna store like 90 percent of my stuff so i can carry all the new stuff home and run it all the way over here actually takes way too much time and i think what i'm gonna do is try to just build a tunnel that'll go all the way from this base to the new area so that maybe i could still utilize the sheep farm as much as possible let me just throw everything into this chest and then honestly i am gonna dig all the way back over it sounds like a huge waste of time but truthfully i think it'll end up being really useful because then i'll have all my like animal farms over there near that entrance oh and it looks like we already got some diamonds along the way don't mind if i do now ideally what i'd like for this to do though is i wanted to go from the skeleton farm all the way to the base and then well from base skeleton farm old base that's my goal right now so for this i believe i have to dig up and out this way and then we should be chin chilling it's just gonna be a whole lot of digging <laughs> Oh, we're hitting a cave. It's getting dangerous. Is that good? What was he holding? Okay, I thought he was holding a diamond sword. No way, that this is a zombie spawner? Wait a second. What, what, really? Bro, this is actually, like, actually right down the, the staircase. Like, right there is literally my skeleton spawner. So it's a zombie spawner and a skeleton spawner side by side, basically. This thing will definitely come in handy later, that's for sure. Now it's time to get back to digging. And here we go. We're finally here. Oh my gosh, bro. That better have been worth it in the long run. Because now at least I have my sheep farm right here. And honestly, I could make this a tunnel and bring my sheep all the way home. But no, 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 no. As tempting as it is, no, no, no. <laughs> See, my thing is, in reality, I don't even know if this grass has grown. So these sheep might not even be worth in the long run. I might just go for chicken and chicken only. Oh, yeah, the grass is growing. I mean, it's growing. It's, 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 it's going. The only problem is that I need to be over here for it to grow. Because otherwise, the chunks just de-render. I will say, coming anywhere near the surface like this is making me really interested. You know what? I'm, I'm doing it again. I need... Ooh, I'm straight off into the void. I think I'm going to try to build a tunnel from my base all the way up to the uh, the ceiling. But that is not before we get kind of established over here in the new base area. What I want to do is I'd like to set up a spot for trees to be able to grow in the meantime, since I am probably going to need a whole lot of wood for building this base. Let me just build out basically like a big dirt platform real quick where I'll be able to plant a bunch of trees. There we go, a little something like this. I'll be able to plant a handful of trees at a time enough light for them to grow also it's thundering out um and that does mean that i can sleep though well not like this hold on i need it 
can't figure out a way I can sleep. I forgot I'm a vampire. I gotta sleep upside down in a coffin on the back of a truck. I don't know. I figured in the meantime, what I can do is I could set up a handful of fern eyes so that they could start smelting up all of this stone while I go on a bit of an adventure. So that when I get back, I'll have a bunch of stone that's already all cooked up and ready for building up our brand new house. What I wanna do is I wanna actually build a staircase that'll go all the way to the surface. And then I'm hoping that once I get to the surface, I'll actually be in a forest where I can be able to walk around and not in a plains biome where I can't do anything. Okay, we've already hit a cave. Oh my God, and there's skeletons. Hello, sir, you <laughs> come into the Thunderdome. Oh, and we dropped right on top of some diamonds. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh my gosh, I'm finally hitting dirt. I think I might be close to the surface. Oh, there it is. Oh, and we're right on a tree. This is perfect. Because now what I can do is build a staircase and have my way back up. Oh yeah, this is perfect. It just had to be a birch forest out of all the forests, the one forest I hate. Regardless, it's still beautiful right now to me. And it's already sunset. It literally took forever just to even get all the way out here. And now I don't want to deal with any mobs. So hold on, I need to go to sleep. And while I'm at home, I might as well also make a brand new diamond pick. But now what I want to do, though, is take a lot of these materials I got and then basically just use a bunch of slabs to bridge everywhere. I'm trying to explore a bit, trying to see what's going on in this overworld. I just got to be careful I don't fall into the sky. <laughs> I just have to be very careful about my bridging here. I don't want to fall. It's so nerve wracking. Literally nothing is holding me to this earth. Ideally, what I'd like to find. Ooh, that looks like a jungle over there. But ideally, what I'd like to find is is something other than birch. I don't like building with birch wood. Oh yeah, we got dark oak. There we go. That's looking a little specie spicy. I'm definitely going to try to collect as much of this as I can. And one thing's for sure, before we go back to the caves, I definitely, definitely want to get some of this bamboo because this stuff is going to come in super clutch because now what I can do is take string and grab my bamboo and make scaffolding. And scaffolding, as we all know, is amazing. Okay, never mind. I wanted to go up with it, but then I forgot that up is down and down is up. So essentially it's kind of garbage, except I could be able to put it above things, I, I think. Yeah, like this. Because then I could be able to just go get my, my trees and my saplings and stuff. Only mildly depressing, I gotta be honest. The next thing that I do want to do is successfully move my wheat farm, my wheat, wheat. But before that, we're gonna spend the day at the skeleton farm because well i need a lot of bone meal and i'm i'm running low on food <laughs> and then just because i can while i'm here with all this bone meal i might as well just you know turn it all into some uh some wheat and then of course i could come over here and say hi to the sheepers hey guys how's your grass doing huh is it growing i haven't been over here in a very long time yeah it looks about the same yeah <laughs> Now, if you guys behave, I just might make you a new pin over where I'm building the house, okay? So just, just stay here and behave. But for now, the priority is setting up a farm. Again, uh... <laughs> I'm just going to build it out right above the tree farm. And then, of course, I got to till the fields. I've also completely ruined my lava over there by uh, trying to build an infinite water pool right here next to me. But um, that's where we're at now. All right. Now that's looking like some successful cave dwelling right there. Now it's officially time for us to start building up the base and establish our first official house in this world. I mean, it's only been 28 days, you know, it's a we've, we've taken our sweet time with this. We turn all this into stone brick, just like so. Base, I'm gonna try to make it like a two-story style base so that I can be able to put farm stuff underneath the base. And then I can be able to turn that into an animal farm later on. Of course, this house does gotta have a bit of flavor to it though. Also gotta be careful that I don't put it a too close to the lava pools up here. Okay, and there goes my axe, all right. <laughs> Good thing I do have four diamonds so I can make a brand new one. And now that I got all the framework all set up, now it's time to start constructing a bit of the accents. Now I'm going to real quick just fill in the entire floor with a bunch of slabs. And ideally what I did want to do is attempt to actually fill in the walls with walls because i feel like it adds a little bit of depth to it my only fear is that uh, my walls might attach to my walls if you know what i mean that's my only thing uh no i'm stupid it's a block away we're in the clear no walls be touching any other walls we're good i'm gonna line all this up with stairs all the way across just like so oh those are going to the lava no okay yeah we might be playing a dangerous game i realized how much better the roof would look out of wood and uh the lava looking mighty dangerous we should be fine though i think we're 
far enough away even though i think i just saw like an ash hit the roof how it appears i've made a terrible mistake i finished up the house and right as i'm about to do the reveal a bunch of skellies spawn regardless though this is where we're at this is the house and i think it looks mighty snazzy if you ask me i'm gonna try to do something with this like little porch maybe kind of add a little bit of flavor to it Actually, you know what? All the ideas fresh in my mind. I'm gonna try to build kind of like a little front porch type of thing, you know what I'm saying? Out of these little chocolate bars and then maybe top it off with, just jump on this wall to do that. What? You jump on a wall? Or this, is it because this is the bottom of the wall? Or this is cracked? Oh yeah, this is because it's the bottom of the wall. That tripped me up so hard, bro. I was freaking out. And then now that I got all my lanterns, let me just slap them on the front real quick for the aesthetics. I mean, it's not like anything spawning right here. But I do however need to put them inside the house because yeah these guys <laughs> i'm gonna just put these things all over the place and hopefully that'll be enough all i really need to do is officially move in starting with the bed which is gonna go right right here and now it is officially time for me to start building up a bunch of chests because it's about time we start moving in which i keep forgetting that my entire house is upside down and everything i place is upside down so all my chests are going into the floor and they do open though because these are slabs so we're in the clear now it's day 36 it's officially time that we probably get started on going into the nether this is probably the latest i've ever gone into the nether ever but it is hard to just do anything in this world so i'm gonna real quick grab a snack by that i mean enough food to be able to feed a country because i'm fat and now it's officially time to leave our brand new beautiful home behind set sail for the nether which i don't really have a game plan for getting obsidian because i don't want to swim up water to get it so i figured the best bet would be to just take as much obsidian as i can out of the portal that we found in the beginning which looks like a few pieces oh and there's a gold block i don't know how i never saw that earlier <laughs> i managed to get nine obsidian out of that which means i am actually short one obsidian from being able to make a portal but luckily there is one little lava pool right here and i'm gonna make it mine let me just pop pop and all that turns into stone. It's kind of creepy. Um, moving on. Get this obsidian. There we go. And now we're ready to go into the nether. Now, ideally, I do want to build a custom cool looking portal. However, I think I should probably first and foremost uh, go into the nether and see how upside down it is before I do anything. <laughs> so I'm just literally going to build up a normal portal and then light her up. But first, I'm going to craft up some gold armor so I don't get clapped when I run in there. And now we should be Gucci. Hopefully, I don't fall into the void oh my gosh this is this is not an ideal scenario i will say that much um the problem with me running around on the roof of the nether is that there's nothing on the roof you know like nether fortresses don't go to the roof they start from the ground going up so i was really hoping for a good spawn here so i'm gonna try to just make a ton of slabs so i can be able to get around using these my best bet though is to definitely just run around on the roof of the nether down there oh that sounds weird to say um until i find what i need and then basically just go from there so i'm gonna try to build a staircase all the way down i'll be honest running around on the roof of the nether doesn't seem too crazy it, it's actually kind of normal except when you see like a skeleton and stuff like that and it's up there on the roof <laughs> uh, and then here we go now we're coming up to some trees and stuff in a crimson forest so it's gonna start feeling really cursed again i'm gonna definitely need to make sure i got plenty of building blocks as well just because i can and it's not like any piglins are gonna do anything about it i'll start mining some gold on the roof this is always that gold that everyone sees that no one ever wants to go mine okay i hear i, I think i hear a piglin in a cave or something right here right there's like a cave i hear him I might be able to do some trees trades actually without having to oh my oh that's oh get upside down gas okay i'm just gonna try digging to the sound of the piglin oh we got a cave and we got piggy boy hello good sir would you like to uh, some gold some succulent sweet gold yes yes indeed it is all right brother give me some good good that's all i want and it looks like my man's is all done now so let's see what we got up in here oh i can just oh there's pearls baby <laughs> i'm all filled up okay six pearls that's actually really good uh gravel honestly gravel could probably be clutch in this world because i could be able to place down gravel to go up technically because gravity regardless so we're back on the adventure attempting to find a fortress a bastion anything in between just some sort of good structure along the way obviously i'm just gonna mine as much gold as possible because it's literally free gold on the roof there's always so much gold up here i'll be honest this is kind of terrifying looking up and just seeing nothing but lava up there it is it is a uh, a bit scary it is just a little bit 
I will say one thing I've definitely learned about the nether is that the roof is incredibly flat compared to the rest of the nether. Like, oh, oh my. Oh man. Oh my gosh. It's like all above lava. Okay. At least now we have a fortress. Um, oh, that is, oh, ugh, that's so unsettling looking at it that way. It's kind of scary. Well, obviously I want to try to loot it as much as possible too, because if I loot it, I can be able to get a lot of, I just watched Piglin fall up into the lava sky. Um, so here, I need to build up to this real quick. And ideally, I want it to be a staircase so I can be able to come in and out of this thing. I'm already getting blazed at too. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to be careful. I have one fire res. How's this man's gonna shoot me from that far away? Relax, dog. Oh, I forgot my arrows arc upward. It's so weird. Okay, there we go. I gotta be careful of gas also. Oh my God, don't, just don't. Okay, we're in it. We're in it to win it, baby. I need to remember, I'm on the roof. I'm on the roof, I'm on the roof. So I need to be careful. Ooh. Ah, oh, blazes could obviously hit me, but I don't know if wither skellies can. Okay, there we go. We got our first blaze rod and we got a saddle. I might use that later, actually. Honestly, I don't even want a blaze spawner. I'd rather just run around and loot. It's scary going outside. That is, of course, unless the blaze spawner is in a cave. I mean, that's another story. Oh, baby. Now, those are the diamonds I'm needing. Now, give me a couple more of those chests, please. You know, just to clear up inventory space. What can I make with this? I can make a helmet. Okay, I feel like I've ran around this thing way too much now, and I'm not finding much for any new chests or anything. And oh my gosh, that is so scary looking. I think what I'm going to try to do is try to find the blaze spawners on the outside and just bridge straight to them and fight blazes upside down because they float to the roof. They literally want to catch these hands right now. Like, look at this guy. Ow. Okay, he can still burn me. The thing is that I need to make sure I grab the item before it falls all the way up to the ceiling. But if I'm able to do that on a blaze spawner, that'd be clutch. Which it looks like there's a lot more fortress this way. Actually, that might be a blaze spawner right there. Yeah, that is. Okay, that's a blaze spawner right there. It actually has a platform too. That looks perfect. Oh yeah. Yeah, there literally could not be a better scenario right now for me doing this. Literally free blaze rods. I'm gonna do this. I'll clear out all this area. Hey, relax, Wither Skelly. And I'm gonna try to close off this entire thing and just build all the way down some walls so they can't float away. Then all the blaze rods are gonna get stuck up there and I can just build up and grab them. All right, now we got 10 blaze rods, which should be plenty of blaze rods. All I need to do is mine up a lot more of this roof gold on my way back to the portal and do some piglin trades and we should have all the pearls we're ever gonna need. I'll be honest, upside down nether, terrifying, but also I kinda like it. Okay, I'm at the crimson biome, which means that the cave that I, oh my gosh, can you leave me alone, please? <laughs> oh wait, there's piglins literally right here. We're in the clear, baby. We should have plenty of gold to being able to do all the trades that I'm gonna need. It's just that I need to figure out how to get these guys in a spot where I can get them to do some trade. No, ah, yeah, whatever. There we go. And then just block them in like that. We should be good. Two guys doing all these trades. Come on now, baby. Oh yeah, they barely start trading and I already see some pearls. That's what I'm talking about, boys. All right, it's been a little while, guys. Come on now. Okay, we're up to 13 pearls, which is technically enough. It's a little scary cutting it that close, but it should be enough. I don't really see anything else that's really great other than fire res, which I already got a couple, so it's not worth it. We're going home. All right, now real quick, what I do want to do is I want to try to work on the nether portal a little bit here. I want it to look like it's right side up, which is upside down in reality. So here, let's top off the portal like that. Cause I really like the way that the portal looks in the original cave in the OG cave that we were living out of, how it's like sticking out a bit. So I'm gonna try to recreate that look and then we'll see how it goes. There we go, a little something like this. Something about the uh, the nether rack being upside down, clearly going up. Looks kind of cool. I'm very curious to see how my world looks right side up and which I'm definitely going to check out at the end of this video. Next project that I want to work on is actually going to be over in the mine shaft because I want to try to make another spawner farm, which is going to be the cave spider because I want to try to get as much XP as I can so I can enchant some gear before we fight the dragon, which I'm going to have to start making my way over to the dragon soon because that is going to be a journey and a half to try to get over over to the dragon. So I want to say I remember there being one right here. Usually where all those cobwebs are is a spider spawner. And yeah, there's definitely a spider spawner right there. Okay. All right. And they already smell me. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Maybe before I do this, I get a little bit of food because this is going to be scary. I'm probably going to take a lot of damage. Spiders are like one of the few things that can really climb up a wall and hit me. 
All right, now that we're all stocked up on food and we got all the things that we're gonna need for this, now it's time to get started on this thing. So I'm gonna definitely have to be very careful how I go about this. Put a bunch of torches up on the spawner. Oh my God. Prevent these guys from spawning. And then we should be good. I also gotta clear out all these cobwebs. And then pretty much just mine out the area so then I have all the room to work with. Leave me alone, guy, I'm working here. We go, now that I got this whole thing boxed in, now I should be able to place water and it stops right there beautifully. Now I need more water to make it infinite so I can place water all along this back wall. Now I wanna attempt to build this kind of like the skeleton spawner farm where I have them all funneling into one hole. It's a little bit trickier with spiders because, well, I mean, they are spiders after all and they do climb walls. Uh, <laughs> all right, so now I have all the water flowing into this ditch right here and then this right here has the water flowing into one hole that goes up right there. So now all I need to do is build a staircase up to where I'm going to be fighting all of these guys. I want a hole right here or is it right here? Yeah, right here because I have a slab right here and I'm going to call this the clean out. So I'm, I put a slab right here because spiders should be able to fit through a one, like a half block, like a slab. I'm pretty much going to do the same setup as earlier with the skeleton. So I'm going to have them all funnel into there. Now I should be able to perfectly fight a spider right here. I might not even need that trap door because this slab plus that lip or no, that goes up to the edge. So yeah, I'm going to put that there just in case. We'll see how this goes. I've never built a spider spawner farm quite like this and I'm a little bit nervous. Not gonna lie. All right, let's give this an official test by getting rid of all these torches. Spiders should spawn. They're all targeting me though. It's kind of an issue because then they're gonna climb. But if I leave, then they shouldn't target me anymore. And hopefully they'll funnel into here. We'll see how this goes. Cause I don't know if this is gonna work cause they are probably just gonna start climbing. Oh, we got one spider which I am realizing now that this slab probably won't work right here and I probably will have to do two trap. Oh, I don't like that. Maybe a slab there and a trap door here because I need to be able to open the trap door to get the XP from the spiders. But also I think they're getting stuck in the trap. Oh yeah, nope, yep, that they are. Oh my gosh, a little bit of spider build up in there. I knew this would happen. I knew these stupid spiders would do this. I just wanted it easy and have them all funnel into one hole, but they all love climbing. Okay, we're gonna have to change this up a bit. All right, and after completely rebuilding this thing, I all I need to do is put the finishing touches on it and then just pop off these torches again. And then all the spiders should roll right on through, wedge right into that one block right there. I should be able to easily just collect all these items and slay all these spiders along this little runway. Not quite as nice as before, but yeah, I mean, as long as I can actually slay them. And now I'm gonna try to just sit here and farm this thing pretty much. I just hope a lot of spiders continue to spawn. All right, now that I finally got all this XP, I finally have the realization also that, um, yeah, I actually can't do anything with it. I can make an enchantment table, but the problem with me making an enchantment table right now is the fact that I don't have any bookshelves. And getting bookshelves isn't very easy in this upside down world. Uh, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a cobblestone generator to be able to get tons and tons of cobblestone real quick so that hopefully I can be able to bridge all the way out into the void of the overworld and hopefully find a village of some sort. Now building this thing upside down is kind of I'm so confusioned. I think right here it needs to be stairs. And then all I need to do is add some blocks right there. I could put a door right here. And then I'm pretty sure all I need to do is add like lava right here and then water in these. I will say it is extremely hard to build everything you know upside down, basically. So all I should have to do is place water right there. Okay, that looks right. And all I need to do is just grab one lava bucket. Wait, what? How deep is that? And then place the one lava bucket right there and then it should go up and into there so now all i gotta do is mine these they should be going up into the hoppers i hope and yes they are beautiful okay so now i'm just gonna sit here and mine this thing for a little while try to get as much cobblestone as possible I feel like i'm playing the void world all over again when i survived 100 days in the void world difficult i had to bridge everywhere but now i'm doing that but i'm bridging upside down it's gonna be Super easy. All right, luckily I've come back pretty much in time for my pickaxe to not be broken and we should have plenty of cobblestone to go on a decent bit of an adventure to find a village, hopefully. If we don't find a village, then I'm just gonna be doing a bunch of level one enchantments, I guess, on my gear, which uh, sounds kind of lame. So I'm gonna craft up a ton of slabs. Then just in case, I'm also gonna craft up another bed for the adventure. Then I'm also gonna farm up a bunch of food because I have no idea how long this is gonna 
be and i want to make sure i'm eating good and right, now it's officially time to go to the surface and begin our adventure is that a creeper oh my god please don't please leave me alone oh my god there's two oh, i'm just gonna keep walking i will say i do love being on the overworld because i love the sunlight but oh my god is it terrifying being here i have no idea which direction i'm gonna go in either i'm just gonna look for a planes biome and more than likely just eco the planes biome route because planes biomes as scary as it's gonna be to be in one it's gonna end up being the best bet so i'll just try to monkey my way across all these trees first oh my gosh a sheep mr sheep how you doing i'm just being taunted by these sheep that are able to walk around freely enjoy their lives and i'm over here living an actual struggle <laughs> honestly feel like one of the best bets would just be to go as low as possible like this and then just bridge out from here but then i'd be blowing through all my materials i need to use treetops actually for sure okay it's finally looking like we're coming up to a plains biome so this is where i'm going to need to be really low pretty much as low as possible and i'm gonna have to hold down shift like oh my gosh dude my finger already hurts just thinking about how long i'm gonna be holding this terrifying oh yeah this is definitely a plains biome hopefully it's gonna have a village though i wonder if this is the plains biome actually where i was originally building my first house underneath because we did kind of poke our heads into a plains biome and okay, that looks like it might be ocean so i'm not gonna go that way oh my gosh dude all these animals are just mocking me i'm gonna go this way it looks like the sun's finally about to set so i'm probably gonna hold up here for the night <laughs> i'll just survive on this tiny little tree it looks like we're coming up to a mountain so i'll probably get some more cobblestone there i'm so scared this is terrifying this has been the most unforgiving experience experience ever all right first night's sleep definitely a success just woke up a little little smushed now it's time to hit the adventure again and this tree is very tall so i'm able to drop down pretty low there we go as scary as it is <laughs> oh my gosh well you guys know my pinky is gonna be buff one thing i didn't expect was that this adventure was gonna be really really long i didn't know how long i was gonna be bridging out if i was ever gonna find a village but it actually took days i built insanely long long bridges until finally i managed to find a village we got a village oh my god <laughs> This plains biome has been so freaking big, man. I'm sitting here trying to build all the way out into this giant void of a world, and I finally find a village. And of course it is in a plains biome, but regardless, I'm gonna make my way over there. This is so depressing. Remind me to never do this again. Okay, I think I'm coming up to a bit of a mountain right now. Oh, that's perfect, yes. Cause then I can be able to live in the mountain. The only good part about this though is that I'll never have to bridge out to a village again, and I will always have this village accessible to me the only downside is that this village might not have a lectern but if that is the case then i should be able to make one if i make a lectern then i can be able to buy bookshelves and then in turn get me some enchantments never mind we should be in the clear that building right there i'm pretty sure is the librarian house oh my gosh and i also get hay bales while i'm here too this is a dream come true first stop is gonna be what house is this i think this is a leather workers house oh my gosh it's upside down oh we got emeralds okay Okay, yeah there's some cauldrons then right here should be the librarian's house so let's go up in here oh so scary give me these give me these books boy and then i believe he could sell bookshelves on his first trade i just gotta get him to nope no no, no come back you beta back baby i knew you were gonna do it stupid cauldrons okay yes he can sell bookshelves on his first trade i want him to give me a book and bookshelves like a good book right come on brother just give me something good please all right, unbreaking, honestly, I'll take it. I'll take unbreaking any day of the week right now. Here, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get a bunch of wheat and sell it to a farmer to be able to get the emeralds to buy my bookshelves. So we'll just mine all this up. <laughs> this looks so cursed. I'm looking up at this stuff and it's so weird. It's throwing me off, bro. My brain's hurting. I'm gonna go back to the cave where I feel safe. And now I should be able to just sell a bunch of wheat like that, which I'm definitely gonna go get more because I saw more on the other side over there. This village is huge, actually. I just now realized, I guess. <laughs> now I can at least be able to buy a few bookshelves and then I just gotta continue doing trades and stuff like that. What I am gonna need to do, though, is run all the way home and it's gonna be worth it because I'm gonna be able to farm tons and tons tons of wheat and then be able to sell it now that food's just not an issue and the problem is that home is very far away it's like literally like probably two days worth of running and if i'm gonna want to get a bunch of food to be able to sell to the farmers i'm gonna have to afk at the uh skelly farm here and now that i got all these bones now i can officially just farm and i'm gonna farm like crazy getting tons and tons of wheat and now i can finish working on doing the rest of my trades bro you almost just pushed me off and i would have screamed and now that i finally got all my bookshelves it's time to head home and set up our first and official enchantment room in this world 
after this long run home that is now i know i was gonna set up a farm underneath the base but honestly i'm a okay with building the tower farm over there it looks kind of cool instead i'm gonna put my enchantment table downstairs that is after i find another diamond which i know i've been skipping a few recently like this one directly above the base this one's been here for a while and so i figured i'll just set it up oh <laughs> I forgot that it's like this. Okay, so then does this go upside down? And finally, after doing a lot more running back and forth with villagers and growing crops and stuff, I finally have 15 bookshelves, which means I could do a level 30 enchantment on anything now. Unfortunately, my diamond pick is already like dead, so uh, I would love to get fortune on it. It's already not worth it, though. I'll have to find more diamonds if I want to get a fortune diamond pick. For now, though, I am going to upgrade my sword and get sharpness on it, and that's all I got was sharpness nothing else sick and then i can get fortune on my axe because that's what i want so i think i'm gonna do a little bit of caving here real quick so hopefully i can be able to make some diamond gear and then be able to enchant that here we go got some diamonds already i think i only needed two for a pickaxe so we're already in the clear on that but i'm trying to make armor too i'm trying to be ready for this dragon fight because, you know, when I fall into the void, I'm going to need good armor for that. Uh, <laughs> but for now, I can make a diamond pick and then maybe I can get fortune on this and silk touch. It's tempting because I would love to have silk touch. Oh, wait, silk touch on my axe. I'll take that. And then now efficiency on the pickaxe. Efficiency. I might get lucky and I might get fortune also. And I don't. All right, sick. All right, moving on. Let's go find some diamonds. You know, since I do finally have silk touch, I guess I could just bring one piece of grass all the way to the boys just because they've so patiently been waiting for this i need to put it in a spot where they're not going to eat it right away and i need to let it spread another one two 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 three okay yeah, now mining diamonds is just easy mode now i'm definitely gonna be able to get enough for a suit of armor come on now bro. Ooh, and an emerald i feel like i never find any of those and right, i'm calling it quits I, I i've been mining for too long running mindlessly in caves and it's already day 69 <laughs> nice let's whip up some armor and i could make two pieces sick that means i'm only short like three diamonds and that triggers me you know what i'm, I'm mining three diamonds oh look there's literally one right there <laughs> all right now i got enough diamonds to be able to make that full suit of armor so let's real quick make these booties let's take it over to the enchantment table i could get protection uh more and breaking and breaking yeah, i mean obviously i'll take the, the uh, protection here and then for boots i could get a little bit more protection and depth strider there we go and a little bit more nice actually not too bad of enchantments even though they're not all level 30 now before i go mindlessly running off to go fight a dragon well first of all i gotta find the stronghold and just finding a village was the most stressful thing i've had to do in a very long time bridging over the void at any moment that i could just flop over and die one thing i do know i'm gonna need is a lot more cobblestone than i think i'm gonna need luckily i do have efficiency on a pickaxe now so i can actually mine a lot so i'm gonna sit here and mine and try to collect as much cobblestone as possible after mining for quite some time oh yeah that efficiency is much better oh yeah now we're set on stone i hope <laughs> scary to think about because strongholds could spawn so far away now i gotta go back to the skelly farms all right i'm officially back up to level 30 let me make sure i get plenty of arrows for this so now i can be able to do another level 30 enchantment as well life's looking up and now i need to get to doing some farming so i can be able to have plenty of food and then one more thing i do want to do is throw away this crappy bow that i got from the skelly farm go enchant a brand new one with a level 30 enchantment bam bam and uh, wow it's garbage actually garbage all right hold up hold up i can literally get a better enchantment that's not level 30 there we go power two and breaking all right that's better than what it was before i'll take it and one more thing i do want to do before we set off to go find the stronghold is that i want to get a little bit more pearls because i do have enough but i have like just enough and unfortunately i can't really get around in this world very easily so if i end up losing an eyeball it's gg besides we all know how common all this sweet succulent roof gold is so I'll be able to get tons of it pretty quick. Shout out to all those times I went to go use my skeleton farm instead of coming to the nether and getting bone blocks. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Here we go. We got some piglins, which I just realized I'm not wearing any gold. Besides, I got to turn all this into gold ingots anyways. Then now I can easily just get all these guys wrangled together. Maybe bring them over here. Drop some gold. Then build around them like 
so oh my gosh why is this so much harder to look up and build i did just realize i mean these blocks are so easy to get i could actually bridge with some of these also then i don't even have to then i don't even have to worry about using slabs okay and it looks like my boys have already dropped some pearls there's two pearls actually all right sirs it seems that you're out of work okay and now we got eight pearls that's gonna be plenty and now it's officially time for me to whip up a handful of eyeballs and we're gonna head down to the surface and we're gonna see which direction we're going this is the moment of truth here we go okay we're going that way and that's going right in the water and i'm scared to touch water because you fall out of the water okay, i'm gonna attempt to get it back i'm so nervous oh okay i'm safe safe for now give me this give me this give me this give me this get me out of the water i'm so scared so i don't want to fall out and okay, i need a bridge across i know which direction we're going and we're gonna we're just gonna hold down our crouch and do our best to get there so nervous man that village had me tired my pinky feels broken as is actually you know what i need to rebind my crouch button looks like we might be hitting another plains biome you know it'd be pretty cool if i actually found another village somewhere to you know take a break from bridging over the void i also did just realize that i forgot my bed at home but luckily i see some sheepers my mans hello good lad i just need to borrow your wool coat for just a moment where's your friend now it's time to collect my last coat there we go child you didn't say anything i got a perfectly good looking cave right here that i could sleep in for the night little did i know that night's sleep was actually just the first of many i had to bridge for days and days i had to take so many breaks because my fingers were hurting from crouching and trying to place down so many different blocks just to be able to get to the stronghold thousands of blocks away while also trying to avoid falling into the void this has got to be one of the most stressful things i've had to do in a very very long time but it was all worth it because we managed to finally get to the stronghold oh oh we're in it we finally made it oh my god it's already it's already day 81 oh my god oh my gosh all right i need i need a break I need a break we'll we'll, we'll get back to this uh, probably tomorrow just kidding it's hours later and i'm gonna attempt to finish this now uh <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I need to find the portal room, which being in a stronghold upside down, what in the cursed magic? Okay, so far everything is a dead end. And this is another library. Oh, we got some more diamonds. There we go. Uh, I don't even have room for any of this, man. I need these slabs. I genuinely need the slabs. I need everything. I wasn't going back home for nothing. Oh man, I just realized it could actually be up one of these staircases because these things are normally down. Uh, oh, actually, here it is. We're good. We're in the clear. Silverfish should be on the roof. Go ahead and destroy that. We got one, two. We actually have two eyes already in it. Luckily, we do have plenty and I only actually had lost one on the way here. <laughs> there we go. Whew. I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. Incredibly nervous, actually. Garbage. I want to slay some creepers. Because if, if I'm able to get some gunpowder off of creepers, then I can be able to make fireworks. And then if I get an elytra, I can be able to fly home. So there we go. Now we got nine fireworks. A couple more creepers. Just a few more. Just to be safe. Oh, look. We got a little fella stuck in jail, huh? Doesn't that just suck? Come on over, champ. You can get the one, two. Here we go. I'm so nervous, dude. I'm so, so nervous. <laughs> I, should, I should have water ready for no reason. Water goes up. <laughs> Three, two, one. Wait a second. Am I right side up right now? Or down? What is happening? Where am I? This doesn't look... Oh, wait, yeah. No, I'm upside down. Oh, is this the bottom of the end island? Wait, I think this might be the bottom. Even though it doesn't look like it. I'm so confusion. Dude, I'm so confused. I don't even know how i'm gonna beat this dragon i'll be honest this is either a gonna be the longest dragon fight i've ever had or b the shortest dragon fight i've ever had oh the pillars stick through the bottom wait a second i have a strategy i'm gonna drill all the way to the top of a tower and then try to shoot the other towers this might actually work all right i'm at the bottom officially but i need to go around to the inside where all the other pillars are so i think i'm on the outside oh my gosh dude i'm so nervous oh my <sighs> Oh, there's the dragoon. This is gonna be the longest dragon fight of my life. I want you guys to know that. Like all memes aside, this got me stressed, bro. I'm, like trying my best to brainstorm how I want to go about this. So it's like I can arc arrows upward like that, but it's like I'll never know if I actually hit that thing. So unfortunately, there's like a hill or something blocking right here. So I can't tell really where the other pillars are. Okay, I can see pillars now. Also see a stupid enderman. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I'm gonna be able to get some heat. Okay, dragon. Okay, and then now right 
there. Come on. I'm just saying, if I can hit this one, I know I can beat this Juju. <laughs> yeah, but I do have to be careful because apparently the dragon uh, can still spit its dragon's breath at me. I feel safe from the dragon right now in general, though, so we're fine. So although my strategy was really, really slow, it was effective. So I bridged down on each and every single one of the towers to be able to shoot the adjacent tower to the tower I was bridging. Okay, that made no sense. But regardless, I managed to get all the healers and now it was time to finally fight the dragon. If I counted correctly, then all the healers should be gone. So I'm back at the first one and my goal here is to just try to bridge into the middle and maybe be able to find the dragon's perch so then I can be able to kind of just sit at it and maybe be able to damage the dragon. I'm really hoping that that's what's going to work for me. Okay, I don't see it right here. Okay, I hear the, yeah, the dragon's perched. Oh yeah, this is it. This is literally it. It's right here. I can't do anything about it right now. Gotta love it. I somehow got to be able to place a block right there. That's the nerve wracking thing. It's like I could place water down and maybe swim. That's too risky. So otherwise I'm just left to shooting the dragon through this tiny little hole. Okay, I gotta be careful. <laughs> Which honestly, if I gotta shoot this thing, I'll do it. I'm committing to this challenge right now. I got enough arrows. I'm gonna attempt to try to dig around this thing. What was that? Okay, so there's a tall, a lower block right there. There's one lower block. So one lower block. Oh yeah, because it kind of, sometimes it's mounting me around the uh, dragon's perch. Sometimes it's like, I mean, obviously the end isn't even. So wait, I might be able to, can I dig further down? No, this is the farthest. Right here at least. Can I dig right here? How low can I actually go? Oh, this is so risky. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm so scared. This might be it. So now I'm able to build around the perch a little bit like this. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. This looks so scary. I'm so scared. Okay. I might be able to pop some arrows off on this dragon, even though they arc all funky. Okay. Dragon's perching. Here we go. Okay. Please don't, please don't, please don't do anything. Please don't do it. Hit me once and I'm scared. I'm terrified. I'm so scared. Oh, it hit me again. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's just stay calm, cool, and collected. Um, obviously I'm going to have to bow the dragon. I feel that is uh, very apparent. Okay, it's perching already. So here we go. I'm going to just attempt to shoot it as much as I can. I'm starting to get used to this arcing. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like it. Oh my gosh. Why does this dragon perch so much? Don't do nothing. Don't do anything too rash. Oh yeah. I'll be honest. It's kind of scary. This dragon seems kind of a little irritated. It's circling uh, pretty low. Okay, I've dealt some mean damage. Here we go. Now it's time to test out my foolproof strategy here. Dragon's going to come in. I might take a little bit of shield damage. No. Okay. And then now I should be able to jump on him. Get some hits. I can't get knocked out baby that's what i'm talking about strategy worked Whew, i've been bowing this thing but i'm gonna run out of arrows at some point oh wait this might be it oh no dragon's breath oh Okay, this might be it. This dragon's breath on the little... Where's this head at? Oh no, it's gone. Okay, we're fine. And goodbye, dragon. Oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. That was a horrible fight. That was horrible. I hated every second of that. And I'm glad that's over. I'm trying to collect as much XP as I can. Come here, XP. Oh, it's all slowly coming. Yes, yes. Give it all to me. I guess I could bridge out a little bit. Try to collect some of this stuff. Now that the dragon's dead, the adventure is still far, far from over. What I need to do is actually build all the way to the outer ends because if I build out to the outer ends it's much much safer than me trying to go through a portal that I might fall into the void on the other side so I'm going to bridge the top of one of these towers very carefully now I probably sound crazy for wanting to get the elytra but honestly I'm already too committed I'd rather fall into the void and this be the way that I die but if it if I do get the elytra it pays off but this is just gonna be a lot of bridging and I've already bridged so Dude. Oh my gosh. I've been bridging for quite some time and to the point that I'm already almost not being able to see the main end island. I also rebound shift to being my uh, crouch button and I made a mistake because my pinky's about to break again. And that, yep, there it is. It's gone. And I still can't see any outer ends yet. And oh my God, this is going to take so long. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be honest. I goofed. I went to go take a uh, long break, mainly for the pinky. The pinky is is, is dying. Okay, my pinky hurts. But uh, I didn't close Minecraft an hour on day 92 uh, while bridging out. I mean, it wasn't that many days. But good news, I do see a little bit of land finally out in the distance. And with a refreshed pinky, it's time to get all the way over there. Now it's officially time to find an end city and an end ship. But now at least I don't have to run all the way back to the end island just to be able to get some end stuff. Stone. And now I'm in the clear and all I got to do is go up, mine out a few blocks. Oh, well, I guess I got to go up to get the blocks, but regardless, we should be good. Oh my God. Okay. I got to be careful with 
Enderman though. I'm gonna stay a few blocks lower, so I'm gonna worry about them. Also, if I gotta hit any sort of like hills or anything like that. All right, now I've been bridging and bridging and I didn't even notice, but I'm coming up to an end ship and an end city. I see it just a tiny bit, but I see the end ship. And this is the fastest I've ever found one of these things. Look at this long snaky trail that just goes out into the void. Just gotta be careful Endermangs, make sure they don't push me off or anything. This is it, this is the moment of truth. I'm trying to slowly make my way over by using these stupid chorus fruits. Trying to go down more and more and more. Yeah, I think this is the lowest I'm gonna be able to get and I'm gonna have to jump onto it. <sighs> That shouldn't be an issue because I do have a water bucket and I am an MLG god. Okay, here we go. Yoink. Easy peasy. I gotta go in. <sighs> so nervous. Here we go. Here we go. And we're in. Just gotta take care of the shulker. Make sure I don't get those stupid levitation. <sighs> and there it is. The elytra. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. Oh, look at this pickaxe, bro. Efficiency on breaking and fortune. Literally my pickaxe plus it. fortune. And we got another one. What? Br what even? This one has fortune three. It's even better than the other one. And a sharpness sword and some more protection pants. Some beetroot. What even? Okay, and then now we got got some healing potions nice nice most importantly though we have the elytra and that's that feels good i can finally finally fly but of course i gotta get my dragon's head so hold on let me just uh come on over here real quick and uh just uh and thank you kindly i do only have 21 rockets so i'm gonna have to fly along my trail it's also day 96 bro oh my gosh i'll be honest taking breaks and bridging and stuff it uh it, you know it eats up a lot of time okay here we go first flight in the upside down world oh wow this feels weird this feels even weirder than bridging what the heck can i go on the bottom of these end islands or will i start taking damage i don't know how low this is i've never been underneath an end island oh that's just gross yeah, i'll be honest this is just nasty regardless though, i need to start making my way home and i need to be careful because i do got to remember that this is an upside down world and flying is gonna throw me way off I'm, you know what? just to preserve my elytra i'm running all the way back it's a huge waste of time but i'd rather run it i don't have mending on this thing yet i want to fly in the overworld not in the nasty end i'm stupid and i completely forgot that i gotta fly all the way home because i thought that would be a great idea i also have to remember how to get out of this place i guess worst case scenario i could just dig all the way out of the surface i think this is the surface i'm pretty sure oh my gosh yes it is okay here we go here we go this is the only time that's okay to fall into the void of the sky because i got an elytra oh shit Okay, I bridged in that way. So that means home's this way. Oh my gosh, this is epic. Okay, I have to be careful because if I run out of fireworks, it's game over. But look how cool this is. I think I could go pretty high though. This is 1.18. I shouldn't start taking damage until I get way above the clouds. Like I think, what, what was it? It's like 300 blocks or something like that. Oh, but look how cursed this is. It's time to set up the dragon's head right here at the end of my bed. And yep, yeah, that's... <clears throat> That's, that's how that looks. Uh, now all I want to do is fly around in the overworld because it's actually so epic. So I'm going to try to slay as much creepers as I can, get as much gunpowder because I still have like 22 paper left over from the stronghold. So I'm going to craft up a bunch of fireworks so then I can fly around. And now I have plenty of gunpowder to make a ton of fireworks. I want to try to get unbreaking on a book so then I can be able to put it on my elytra. Okay, this is taking forever and all I get is unbreaking one. Apparently the best that Minecraft's going to offer me is unbreaking two and I'm all the way down to level 28. I was like 64. I've been sitting there hitting that enchantment table like it's my job. But now I just need to get a tiny bit more iron so that I can be able to then whip up a anvil so I can throw that. Okay, I forgot anvils fall upward. Um... That scared me. I thought I just lost my anvil after mining art. Sure, I guess I'll have to do this. I'll put my crafting table down right there and my anvil right there. Now I can be able to add this unbreaking book and I can finally go flying. Oh my gosh, here it is, baby. Now I can spend the rest of day 100 just flying around, enjoying my elytra and exploring the upside down world. And you already know the first stop is definitely going to be the village. Go say hi to everybody. How's it going, everybody? Hello there. Oh, yeah, you guys got some of that sugar cane, huh? You get some of that. I'll be honest, as scary as this looks, I also think it looks amazing. Being able to fly, all the stress is actually just gone. And I love every minute of it. That is it, everybody. The sun is setting on day 100. Oh, my God. I just got my butt munched, bro. Relax. How are you going to... Phantom, I'm trying to be dramatic here.
as I was saying, sun is setting on day 100 and that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was actually a ton of fun. It was insanely stressful and it took an insane amount of time. So if you did enjoy it, make sure you guys smash that like button, hit subscribe, join the Paul GG army. So if you guys want to see any more of these spicy videos, make sure to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload. And for now, I will see you guys in the next one.